check the correctness of the following formulas using dimension analysis. So now let's see these solutions. But before we start solving H1, first let's remind us velocity and uh, acceleration. Velocity is nothing but distance divided by time taken. Now let's denote D as capital L and small letter T as capital D. This implies that velocity equals to L divided by T. And from indices law, we can write velocity as equals to L T per negative one. So let's put this in mind. Now let's know what is acceleration. Acceleration is defined as velocity divided by time taken. And we already know velocity as this value, so we can substitute. This implies that acceleration equals to L T per negative one divided by T. And from indices law, if we have T per negative one divided by T, this t has power of one then we take one t then we negative the power to the numerator value now this would be t power negative two so we can apply this into this acceleration and this implies that acceleration equals to l t per negative two so let's keep this in mind and the first question says v equals to u plus at. Now, velocity is known as lt per negative 1. So we can substitute this instead of this velocity. This implies that v is lt per negative 1 equals to, this is initial velocity and it is the same as this, lt per negative one plus acceleration is already known as LT per negative two, so we can substitute LT per negative two, then multiply by this T. Now this becomes LT per negative one equals to LT per negative one plus L. Now the base are the same, T and T, and this has the power of one. So since it is a multiplication sign here, we can just add the powers and take one base. T, negative 2, plus 1. So now this becomes LT per negative 1 equals to LT per negative 1 plus LT, negative 2, positive 1 is negative 1. LT per negative 1 equals to 2LT per negative 1, where... 2 is a constant and it is a dimensionless value so we can neglect 2. Now this becomes lt per negative 1 equals to lt per negative 1. Therefore the left side of the equality sign equals to the right side of the equality sign. This tells us that this is dimensionally correct. 2 which is v squared equals to u squared plus 2ax. And note that S is nothing but a distance, and we can denote S, the distance, as capital L. So let's see this solution. We already known V as L T per negative 1, but this V has squared, so we can close this and put the power of 2, which is equals to U is an initial velocity, and we can write it as L T per negative 1 but it also has the power of 2. Plus, 2 is a dimensionless value, so we can let it. While A is LT per negative 2, multiply by S as the distance L. So now we can open the bracket with the power of 2. L multiplied by the power of 2, that is L squared. T negative 1 multiplied by 2 that is negative 2 equals to l multiplied by the power of 2 that is l squared then negative 1 multiplied by 2 that is t to the power of negative 2 plus l multiplied by l that is l squared then t to the power of negative 2 so l squared 
t power negative 2 equals to l squared t power negative 2 plus l squared t power negative 2, which is 2l squared t to the power of negative 2, where 2 is a constant and it is a dimensionless value, so we neglect it. Then this becomes l squared t to the power of negative 2 equals to l squared t to the power of negative 2. This side equals to this side. This shows that this is dimensionally correct. S equals to ut plus a half at squared, where s can be denoted as capital L equals to u initial velocity is lt power negative 1, then multiply by this t plus half is a constant which is dimensionless so we can neglect it and acceleration is l t power negative 2 then multiply by t squared so now l equals to l the t and t are the same so from indices law we take one base t then we add the powers negative 1 plus 1 then plus L, T are the same, we take 1, then we add the powers, negative 2 plus 2. Now L equals to L, T, negative 1, positive 1, that is to the power of 0, plus L, T, negative 2, positive 2, that is to the power of 0. L equals to L, T power 0 is 1, plus L, T power 0 is 1. 1. L equals to L times 1, which is L, plus L times 1, which is L. So L equals to 2L, and 2 is constant, we can neglect it. This implies that L equals to L. So the left side and the right side are equal. This shows that the formula S is equals to UT plus a half AT squared is dimensionally correct. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe for more video updates. Science which I've done.